emergency meeting first. And we're going to skip the And this declaration will take effect immediately from and after its issuance in a month. 
approval by the commissioner's court. I have already signed it, and I am giving it, giving it to the clerk for it to be filed. And so what the court needs to do is to review that, see if that is agreeable with the court, and if so, then for the court to approve it. Otherwise, it will only last for seven days. If the court approves it, then it will be a continuing declaration. In accordance with this, if there is anyone this morning that um, doesn't need to be here, um, if, if we've addressed what you needed to hear this morning, then I would ask that. Uh, That when you take care of your business, if you if you wouldn't leave, that would be that would be an appropriate thing to do. Can't tell you to leave, but it probably we were talking about trying to space people out. We won't have enough room in here to space people out. So anyway, we now will go to our um, regular agenda. generate the low frequency noise 
that has killed our people in this county. And I have escaped numerous times from that happening to me. I know firsthand. I've got uh, equipment that can be detected. I've addressed it uh, to lots of different people, including, including the Railroad Commission. So, where's our plan for that? We need to develop a plan for addressing this.
this will be enough um, until our next meeting. If not, we may have to have a special meeting or something. But anyway, that'll be enough to get us ordered where we can order what supplies we need. Right. We have a motion. I make a motion on the budget transfer of the Second. All in favor, aye. Item number six is to approve bill, bills. Approve the pay for this. to uh, structure fires. Also had a went to Waco to Hotcock meeting for funding to help funding in, in this area and uh, probably the city and Fairfield Fire Department both received some grant money out of that. Um, other than that most everything has been tied up with this corona stuff. So we're steady working on that and phone calls and conference calls and meetings and things. So that, that's our report today. Um, I'll give one as far as the uh, COVID-19, uh, we're constantly, sometimes two, three, four times a day getting uh, updates from the state regarding the jail facility in our office. Uh, so we're, we are staying up with the recommendations that they are proposing that we do as far as the questions mainly and our telecommunications and, and the jail staff are, are all doing that. We have canceled visitation for now to try to keep it out of the building. Um, uh, so we're, we're staying up to date, we know pretty much what's going on every two to three hours. Uh, we're constantly checking uh, to stay on top of this thing as, as long as we can and hopefully for good. Um, so just an update there that we are doing state standard. Um, and part of that is the pre-screening of anyone that comes in. Yes, right? yes. Before they ever come in, they have to be pre-screened. Mm -hmm. And um, our employees will be starting to do that as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have a question. I, and this is: did, did we release some people from jail? Was that something we did? Because I mean, like people that were like 
Did, did we release some people from jail because of this? Because of this process that we're under? Uh, the Attorney General's office uh, mandated that we release all people in jail that were under child support. Under child support, and that's all, just the ones with child support. No yeah, the other ones were basic releases, like normal. Okay. Yeah. So is that a statewide deal? Yes. Okay. I do have a report from the county clerk for February. For the district clerk for February and the senior services. <clears throat> Another thing, this is kind of a report, um, kind of went with the first thing that we did. We have um, closed the Senior Services Congregate Meal Program for the, for the short time, hopefully, that we're under this uh, CDC requirements, or suggestions, actually, recommendations. Uh, so what we're doing, is we're still doing homebound deliveries to everyone. And anyone that was a part of that program that came to the centers for congregate meals now can call in in the morning, tell them that they are going to come and pick up a meal. They will have it packaged and ready, and they will carry it out to their car for them to uh, avoid, you know, the group that, especially the protected group, which. Um, uh, of which I am a part of, the elderly, <laughs> for us, you know, being one of, the, one of the areas that we have to be most concerned about. So we're trying to do everything we can there to um, help them in that area, but still provide them a meal if they will come up again. Anything else? All right. We have a motion to accept the reports. Make it motion. Second. All favor aye. Motion carried. Item number nine is outdoor learning. Fire ban, no action. Item number ten, special road use agreements. I don't have any of any of you. All right. Item number eleven, bonds and education certificates. Have one education certificate. Say repeat. Read the county clerk. Take all the different alternatives. We have a motion to accept the record. All that right. Uh, Item number 11, bonds and education certificates. Whoop, we just did that. Item number 11, uh, 12, to appoint a pro tem official. We have to do that every year, and it's usually um, one of our, it's the most senior person on the court. Point Craig Oates.
Item number 14 is to consider an order authorizing San Jacinto Day fireworks. Okay, moving. Second. All favor aye. Motion carried. Item number 15, ACA reporting and tracking 2020 renewal confirmation program agreement. Is that the one with the so yes, this is up for the 1095 state that's required under the Affordable Health Care Act by yes. uh, TAC, and they're doing it for us. They did it this year, did fine. So and they do that at no cost. They do it no cost to us as long as we have them sent to us to hand out. And that's what we do. We have a motion. To difference is is that previously we had two separate contracts one for the web hosting and one for the normal software thing and the web hosting one has been combined in with the normal contract so same thing so overall the price actually is a little less because of some other adjustments but everything's the same and Brian looked at it and everything was good Second. Second. discuss the April county government month we are not going to have any activity for the April County Government Month. We have done in the past, but I think considering the circumstances, we are not going to have this this year. Item number 18 discussed submitting a requested tax dot. We're going to hold off on that too. We'll okay. bring that back. Item number 19 discussed the purchase of the countywide rescue float. And uh, Jody is here to talk to us about that. Thank you, uh, last year, I guess it was about this time last year, we had a lot of water calls and commissioners and support about purchasing a rescue boat for the fire department employees, maybe better handle these water calls. And about a month after y'all purchased it, we had it, we actually had to use it. It's not looking like it was y'all. Off the car in the, in the creek down there in the river bottom, the bad thing was we did poke a hole in it. We're asking, trying to get another boat as a safety and a backup for us. Since we were here last year, I think we've got a total of about 15 people now scattered out to the county on different departments that are got the water rescue certified. We've got a guy from uh, since Freeman, fire department. He's a county chief of Dallas Fire. He's part of Texas Task Force One. He's joined in with us. He's helping us train. Been invited, gone with Dallas Fire Department a couple of cases now with boats and got to play in moving water and have learned a lot. Uh, boat would be a backup. Right now, I think it's a great home between the team that's going to house it and work with the fire department. They've got room for it, they've got the capability of pulling it, and they have five members, I believe, that are water certified. And I think we're at about six or seven. Fairfield has one, possibly no one fixing to go. So, I mean, we've got a pretty good little trip going. This will serve as a backup. The, it's available, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's a flat bottom boat. There's some other equipment here. Uh, some different wheels put on it where two people can get it and take it down a creek bank and some stuff like that. Some same lights we we'll light it up at night. That night we did use it to pop it. It was dark down these tree bottoms in the middle of the night at midnight. It's pretty hard to see. So uh, some other lights, some paddles, either of these and some throw bags, which are essential equipment to go along with water rescue. There is a uh, water rescue manic in there, which would be what it is manic we practice with. So we can take it, go ahead and lay the vest on it. We practice it. Out of water in the boat. Yeah. Uh, Said about $9,200 here, but that's not counting shipping and handling, so somewhere around $9,500 for all that equipment probably would be what it costs. Do we want to be on the boat if it's supposedly bugs? We're sitting over at the mic, it's been there for a year. You know about it? You're talking about the center, co center console boat that's yeah. over here? Uh, uh, Kelly Craig actually talked about that. that boat belongs to Cubs. Bonner and the Constables. And Kelly had kind of 
ask Buck about it somewhere but it was just kind of a, just let it by. So, so. we're just this. Right. But it's a, big, it's a bigger boat too than what yeah, we're asking boat. for. We're talking about a 15 foot flat bottom boat. You can get up in these little creeks and some different places. Shallow water. That boat's in pretty rough shape too. I haven't overlooked it. It's in pretty rough shape. Alright, do we have a motion? How many, when you all made that rescue on that car, how many boats were aboard that night? One. We did pop it. Uh, myself, Justin Rowe and I, uh, we got in a hairy situation. Uh, takes a lot for rattling. I did get shook. Uh, uh, we hadn't been able to get loose and got back. I had three of We did have another boat and good kind of guys. So, I mean, that's what we're asking for. Just a little help for a backup, a safety. I don't know where we're going to get the money from. I don't have a clue right now, but. I didn't like that. I didn't want to go and even start with when we got to one boat. Do we have a motion? What do you want? Is there any in that, um, in the fire department, how much is the boat? Less than 10,000. Yeah, it's about 9,000. There's not. We don't have any set aside, but I mean. What about that um, grant match? There, there might be a little bit in there, but it's not going to be enough. We have some contingency. We'll 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 we'
and then two Democratic ballots counted out of the 21. Then we had, as far as your original ballots that were returned, there were 19. 17 were sent in corrected, so therefore that left just two. Yes, sir. Okay. So it all is done in canvassed and we're set and we're great. We have two more offs. I seem to ask you about that in the reports. I'm sorry. That's okay. No problem. 